Alright, this video is going to show how to make a ribbon French braid just using two sections of hair. And you're going to need either a piece of thicker ribbon or a scarf or some fabric to do this. But you just start by making a small section in the front and then bring your ribbon over the top of the section and make sure that the ends are the same length at the bottom. And then cross the ribbon underneath the hair and then this takes two hands to do, so have your daughter hold each side of the ribbon, one in each hand, and then grab a section from each side of her head, just like if you were making a French braid. Gather that all together and then you're going to split this in half so that you've got two sections, and then cross one over the other. And then you're going to take one side of the ribbon, bring it underneath the section of hair and over the top, and then have her hold it again. And then do the same thing to the other side. Bring it underneath, over the top, and have her hold it. And then you just start again by gathering a section from each side. And this time you've already got two pieces, so you're not going to have to split it in half just add the sections to both sides and then you cross it and then wrap the ribbon around it. Always bring the ribbon underneath, not over the top. So it's really pretty easy. You don't need to worry about keeping a bunch of sections of hair separate. It's just two pieces that you're working with the whole time. And when you're crossing the hair, always make sure that you cross it the same way. So I'm crossing the right side underneath the left. Whichever way you start with, just continue the same way all the way down the braid. If I was doing this normally, I would probably wet each piece and slick it down so that it's a little bit smoother, but just for time's sake for the video, I'm doing it a little messy, but you can get the idea how to do it. You could do this with pigtails if you wanted as well and do one braid down each side of her head. There's lots of different things you could do with this. But when you get to the bottom, just wrap the ribbon around one more time. And then if you wanted to make a braid with that, you could braid it in or just tie it off and make a bow with this ribbon. You could do whatever you want, but that's how the braid turns out. It's pretty cute and it's pretty fast and easy too. It's one of our favorites. That's it. Hi.